Hi, this is Josh Burton with CG Monks for CG Monastery. Uh, this here is going to be a demo showing off um, an introduction to how our rigs work. Um, and this this asset here is M Drake, a uni, Unity Medium build rig. It'll be publicly available a few weeks after uh, this video goes live, after we get a few kinks out. Uh, so the, the release version probably won't look exactly like this. Um, there's going to be some updates. I'm going to unify the mesh and do some other stuff. But anyway, um, I'm demoing again Maya 2016. Um, I'm not a fan of 2017, and I haven't worked a whole lot yet in 2018 just because of client uh, requirements. All our rigs are built with our Morpheus rig system, or MRS for short. Uh, so any rig that you get from us is going to share these, uh, these features, generally speaking, and uh, just how it's, it's laid out. Uh, MIS is a template-driven modular rigger so that when we update uh, MDrake, it, uh, on our website, there'll be an updated rig, and you'll have new features, but generally speaking, the rig will still look about the same. Um, let's see. Uh, this is an alpha asset in our first soon to be public rig. Uh, we haven't gotten to rig optimization yet, so it's going to get faster as we go forward. And if there's, we're animators as well, so if there's something that you're not happy with, we probably are not happy with it either, but we have to get things done, so we just haven't gotten to it yet. You're going to want the CGM toolbox uh, to work with our stuff. Um, I'll have a link in the description on how to get to that. And I'm not going to talk in detail about the marking menu, but you're going to find me using it a lot. I just use it a lot. Um, I have other videos about that, but I'm, that's not going to be the focus of this video. Um, so one thing to start when we get started here, like with our cog, you see you're getting pretty slow, slow interaction. To enable... Um, Set that to enable parallel evaluation in Maya. What I want to do is just set a key and then set a slightly different key somewhere else. And then when I come back here, well, that didn't quite do it. We should see, let's see, let me set that. All right, Maya. Now, when I tested this a second ago, it was fine. So, why are you doing this, Maya? There we go. And now we're back to speed. His Maya, his finicky, as anyone who works with it often knows. So now I got much better interactions, so this is what we want to be working with as we're working here. Um, I have a uh, viewport 2.0. You can also go to default render, but I prefer the, the look of 2.0 because I like things to get pretty. I do have a light set that's constrained to my perspective camera, so when I rotate around the camera, it's changing the orientation of the lights to have a nice. Um, warm and cool lighting setup, which I've been using for doing my, my screen grabs and stuff that you may have seen on our Facebook or website. Let's dig in. So we have our master control, which you find at the root here. Uh, so we can move our character around. Um, there are uh, some dynamic parent groups and stuff that you can use. So if you wanted to constrain the asset to something else, you can, for example, turn on the space pivot and then you can constrain uh, this control to something else. And then if you change the master to space to the world space pivot, it's going gonna, it's gonna to follow that. And uh, now this would be the, the parent for it. So I have that kind of set up for several of our um, con IK controls. It's only really on IK controls. Let me turn that back off. And... Um, you can also scale the character or scale them up, all that works. And uh, yeah. So let's go ahead and talk about, generally speaking, um, we have our left side controls, character speaking, uh, to be blue. Our right side is red. Our center line is yellow. Uh, we follow that in pretty much every, on all, all the stuff that we're making right now. So if you get a recommend, you'll, you'll see that's the case. Um, I do have a couple display layers set up. Um, so if you want to, you know, just turn off the mesh or turn off the controls, you can do that. Also, you can just, for playback, if you uh, don't want to see the uh, controls, if you have the P off here, the controls won't show up, if some of you don't know that, but that's what that's for. Um, let's see. Uh, let's talk about, just generally speaking. So start with the legs. So we've got our, our feet controls here. Uh, you can rotate them. Um, it's, like, it's a foot. 
Um, we can do, we can change our stretch, so you can turn off auto stretch. All those options are on here. You can lock your mid, you can spin the mid. Um, we got our rolls, so to reset this, and then go to roll. Get your foot roll. Uh, you can change the, the roll uh, options here. You got your toe, your ball, I mean. I don't have a toe on this one, I don't think. Yeah, I do. There's the toe. We're still finalizing our joint account, that's why I wasn't sure. Uh, then you can spend your options. You can also uh, see more options. So all of our, our segments have a, have a settings um, control. So and when I, when I speak about segments, um, this module, so the left leg is a module, the right leg, uh, right arm, left arm, spine, head and neck is, is in the module as well. And so you'll find your options on here for um, extra things you can do. So I can, like, for example, go between FK and IK. And you'll note that we have our FK controls unlocked and translate, which is fun. Um, I have on IK as well, I have a root. Let me turn off the mesh selection. Opens that. Um, so I can grab the uh, the hip and move that if I want. And then if I want even more controls, I can go to the uh, the sub controls and turn these on. And so then I'm going to have my every every well, actually not every joint is going to have one because that's something else. So it, it just breaks up. You have extra controls for the um, these segments. So the leg is split into two segments: the upper and the lower. And you can twist and, and rotate that and, and do fun stuff if you want. Uh, let's see. So these uh, these segments, they follow the framework of the IK and FK. And so you can do extra stuff once you, you've got a pose going. You can get a little arc in it if you want. And let's see. So also then we can go to biz root if you want that. And so that's just the whole kit and caboodle. Um, but this is in a different space. It's in a world space, so that's why it's not following. But if I change the foot to be root, then it's going to follow that. All right. So let's go back to and let's see i talked about that uh vis direct so vis direct controls are actual the actual joint themselves so you have that actual joint direct control so you can grab each of those joints and, and move it without affecting its neighbors if that makes sense um, so that's what that is. And the reason you get these highlights is I have a, I probably need to change my settings. I have a transparent um, shader on Geo to make that easier to select. So you'll see that the Geo wireframe I build for my proxy Geo. And that's why it looks like that. But I'm going to turn that back off. Uh, blend param isn't going to make a whole lot of sense with our low joint count, but it changes the. Um, Along the ribbon, it changes if you have uh, like a rebuilt value along there, a smooth uh, fall off on the where those different positions are along that ribbon, or if it's fixed to where they are at creation. And I'll get to that when we talk about a tail or something or a long neck. It makes a lot more sense. Let's see. We have our our hips. Um, got our mid segments here. And actually, I'm just going to set some keys on all of this, um, just so I have my change my mode to puppet. And then I'm going to key my whole puppet. And I'm going to key it again here. And I'll talk more about this stuff in the next video. All right. Got to get different keys for that parallel evaluation. Um, but now it feels a lot. 
faster. But the other things don't. You just gotta move everything. It's a lot faster when you're animating. Uh, let's see. So we got a cog. So on the spine, the uh, the settings is in a gear. It's actually I use the cog for that. So you'll find your your settings here for that. Um, the FTI can blend. And the uh, the viz sub viz direct. And there are much more intuitive ways to, to toggle those things on and off, which I'll cover in the next video on the animation or the misanimate UI. But for now, let's just look at this so we can uh, keep these videos short as possible. So we have our, our arm, and we again, FK is unlocked. I got my clav. Um, if I want my sub, my gear is right here, and I can move this out, and it's fine. You can rescale these, it doesn't do anything. Just so you can select it, and then I can go to IK. Uh, let me go back to FK and turn on my viz sub. So on the arm, I have um, there's an option. So how this this follows the uh, the shoulder. So there's the the top one has a stable follow and it's on by default. If you turn it off, it's going to follow directly what your your that rotation is doing. Otherwise, it's going to try to keep it in line with the um, the clav area, and when you flip it, it, you got your you know your you know flip set up. All right, let's go back to IK. Um, so I kind of added this not that long ago, so it's still in testing. But we have um, a hand roll that works with your fingers and. Yeah, you know what hand roll is. Then we have our finger controls. Um, again, you got your, your direct unlock and lock, so you can turn on your IK if you want. Um, let's see. These are your clavs for the fingers, all my levers. And let's move up to the head. So the head is a head, and uh, there's no roll joints in the Unity Medium build on the neck, so it's it's a it's a stable neck. So the uh, the higher builds will of course have roll joints in the neck. We just don't have them on this one. The uh, eye look is uh, you can change the space, so you can change whatever space you want it to to be the world or the head, uh, the neck. Um, you can add an option for the chest. I'll make a note of that. And for the face, uh, I'm sorry, let me finish these. So you have individual IK eyes. You can change the eyes between FK and IK if you want as well. And then you, you've got direct, connect, direct control on the eyes. Uh, also on the eye, you have your follow stuff. So if you don't want the eye follow, um, auto follow, turn it off and the the eyelid won't follow the uh, the eyeball anymore if you don't like that. Uh, you got your blink, and you can change your blink height. And the auto follow I talked about. These are the limits for how the follow happens. And it's just parameters, so you can change how far to the right and left the um, the follow goes to. So um, I turned off follow, so it's not doing it. So you can change uh, how far. So let's see, upper right limit, left limit. So if I wanted to change that, you can change the setting so it doesn't go as far to the left, um, just to your preference. And let's see, we got a brow. So you got your, your main brow control. Uh, you can twist that, rotate that. Um, then each brow, I might should change the shape of this. We'll take some feedback on that if you guys want this to be it's maybe not super clear, but this is a, a bigger one. I thought just having a little bit bigger might, but it, it may be confusing. You can maybe make that a different shape. Um, you got your brow, you got your lid controls. You can rotate these on the, um, it'll be different on the, when I add the full lid setup. So this is a single joint uh, eyelid. Um, you got your nose, this is your muzzle. So you can rotate the, uh, the whole lower face. I was thinking about on this um, because the the teeth have nothing to follow. I was thinking about skinning them to the nose base. It might be weird, but at least they'd follow when you did that. 
when we have a low joint count we kind of got to make economy so I think I'd, again I'd like feedback on that if you guys would like the the teeth to follow on the unity setup to be um, uh, to follow that it might make more sense just let me know um, but you got your jaw Uh, the lip seal and stuff is, is on the uh, the mouth move, so we have our, we can seal center out, or we can seal across to the left, or across from the right, and you can also do your, your height as well, so you can change that seal height, whatever you want it to be, um, and then rotate this. Is a, I'm trying to find a good point for that, it's, it's always tedious if you're not doing SDKs, and you can be exact. Um, but you can you have full, full control of that uh, reset and you got your cheeks and oh on the head so there is a aimable head one of my clients had wanted this and so it's a it's an aim head that you can use if you want to if you want to use it use it if you don't don't uh, and then it just hides if it goes off and I think that's good for this. I'm trying to keep these short. So that's an intro to the rig. Um, again, this is just our alpha release. The, the full Unity one will have the holster and the pistol. Um, I just didn't want that to get in the way for this first testing. I might just make this a variant as well, so we have one without the holster if you don't want a holster for whatever reason on something you're doing in Unity. And um, that's all I got for now. I'll get going on the other video, which I'll have up before too long. Thanks.